Chef Pennington here. Today we are doing everybody's favorite bacon, and we're taking it up a notch. We're doing candied bacon, which is taking bacon times two to the greatest. And we've got a great bonus. We're going to do bacon onion rings. Who's ever done bacon onion rings before? So really, everything's really simple. Just a few steps here, and we're going to end up with some candied bacon. So pick out some really good bacon. I personally like applewood bacon. There's just something about the flavor. It's great. It's not really apple-y, but there's, the smoke is just it's a little bit lighter than some other smokes. So get your pieces that you like, get them onto a roasting rack, really important because the sugars are going to want to drip down and they will slightly burn, if you will, at the bottom, but the bacon itself is not going to burn. Sugar caramelizes at high temperatures and that's that burn effect I'm talking about that's not going to affect your candied bacon. And if you like, you can put a little bit of water in the bottom of your cookie sheet that will help that. Now be sure to put some aluminum foil at the bottom also. The aluminum foil brings up the, the heat inside the oven and it helps the caramelization process on the bacon. So that's a real important one. Don't use parchment paper. Definitely use aluminum foil. So what we've done is we've used a little bit of maple syrup and we painted on each side. And then we used a little bit of brown sugar. That's our candying agent and then a little bit of cumin um, you could use whatever spices you really like the cumin brings a little bit of smokiness that's a really cool combination right there i found it's mesquite and habanero you could even use creole if you want it's really a personal preference at this point the idea is the candying and then the flavoring and that's the fun part you could go anywhere you like a little black pepper that's really good with bacon so this is one of those perfect christmas party deals you can just sit out and anybody sees bacon and you're offering bacon to them they're going to be like Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> I don't know anybody's ever been given bacon and wasn't excited about it. So be sure to repeat on the other side. And we're going to go off to the oven. And we're going to let our magic happen. A lot of people like to roast bacon at 400 degrees, which I agree with. But since we have the sugar here, we're going to go at 375. And it takes about 20 minutes. And then it comes out. You can see that the beautiful amber color there. The bacon is not burnt. It's perfect. At, at this point, it rests take them and flip them over so that when they cool down they don't stick to your rack it's something to watch for just give them a little flip over let's make some bacon onion rings awesome as simple as it possibly could be we're pretty much repeating the same process but you want to be weaving your bacon around your onion rings and you don't want to make it too thick as you're going around otherwise the bacon's just going to take forever to cook in the oven this is not the same as the last process this takes longer so you could use, in this case, using thinner bacon would definitely be something I would suggest because it just cooks quicker, which is always good. So we've got a bacon onion ring there. So we're not going to put brown sugar on it. That's the difference. You could do it if you wanted, but we're going to paint on our maple syrup, which is our candying, one of our candying agents. And we're only going to do it around. We're not worried about the bottom part, which you certainly could do if you want. Just can reduce the potential of any sticking, which really isn't a problem either, but it works great. Just get it around the edges there. You can use more of our favorite seasoning, whatever you guys like there. Either a little or a lot or none. I really like adding that little extra because when people are eating it, they're going, hmm, this is bacon and candy and something else. And it's kind of confusing their minds and they're going, this is really good. <laughs> Just the sound of candy, any bacon, it sounds wonderful. So these guys are going to go in the oven, same temperature, 375, but it's going to take longer. It's about 30 to 40 minutes, and you'll be perfect. You can go longer if you want. You could put this on the barbecue pit and smoke it too, but that's really cool. Like, Not many people have had that before, so that's another great idea for your Christmas party, folks. Come join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys over there. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. We'll have all the instructions, everything on the, on the website. The link will be below. You guys are the best.